Hi everyone, I'm curator Lisa D'Amico and I am here with the beautifully talented Barbara Namias and her piece Dance of the Autumn Trees is in the exhibit. So Barbara, it is so lovely to talk to you. Same here, Lisa. Mm -hmm. I'm really delighted to be part of this. I love what you do for artists, how you promote us and um, the, the interview and all the feedback is just great. Um, and I'm very delighted. This is one of the favorite pieces that I feel I've made. So I'm really happy it's in the exhibit. There is a, there's a real beauty in this piece and a, really a level of poetry that you've created. Tell everyone listening about your inspiration and your process, because I am very interested and I know they are too. Well, I have always loved birch trees and so many people love birch trees. So um, just, just for that reason, it's a very popular painting, but <clears throat> my process was actually pretty involved. Um, I'm, I'm mainly a mixed media artist. So, um, and I work very intuitively. Now I did have the intention to do something with birch trees. Um, I wasn't even sure it was gonna be birch trees. Let me take that back, but it became birch trees. Um, and so I, I just painted a background in acrylic and I still, I, I let each, each step inform the next. So I never have a detailed plan. This way my spirit can really go into it and you know, um, be a true expression of what I'm trying to express. And sometimes I don't even know what that is. I find out as I'm working. Mm -hmm. So I first put a layer of acrylic down and I did have the idea that I was gonna put like a darker or more rich color um, on the top. So it could be kind of a sky looking through any kind of tree I'm going to paint. And then I very lightly sketched out um, the form of trees. And I didn't want to make them straight. You know, birch trees are very, very straight and narrow. I just had this feeling like I wanted them to dance and relate to each other. So uh, when I was sketching, I was just curving them toward each other, a little bit away from each other, all of them reaching up to the sky with their branches, arms. <laughs> and, um, and then I began to collage the trees. So every little piece that, unfortunately I don't have the piece right nearby me, but every little white or black piece on the, or pattern piece on the birch trees are all put in piece by piece. It was actually very labor intensive, but ended up- That's, That is incredible. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, at first I was just painting the trees white and I figured, well, I'll, you know, I'll just put, you know, the black marks that you see. But then I said, no, let me do a little something more. So if you look really closely at the piece, you'll actually see <clears throat> not just the black and white, but you'll see little patterns in between. And, and then I, I continued to, um, add little touches and then I actually painted the the leaves that have fallen on the ground. I painted that whole thing afterwards. Your choice of colors for those leaves are, especially where, you, where you're bringing in those pink hues, unexpected and it's a it really is a beautiful marriage between all the other elements. And that, and your background, it, the whole painting at first glance, it, it it feels beautiful and simple. But the more you look at it, the more you see that background is so powerful. It makes those when it's a, when I saw dance of the autumn trees, I got it. Like they jump at you, and the way you've curved, and also I love the way that you have made those birch trees just ever so gently wider at the bottom, and they slowly and beautifully narrow and curve on their way up. It, it, it is. It's. I want to live in that forest. So do I. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Um, you know I. Unfortunately, living in New York City, I don't often get a chance to experience nature. 
Um, but I grew up with a lot of nature. My father was a nature lover and we lived in New York, but he always brought me to the country to hike and fish and see the autumn leaves. And I think a lot of that comes from those beautiful memories that I have with him. So, um, you know, it just came out. That's all I can say. It just came out when I went to do the colors of the leaves. I have no idea why I chose those pinks and oranges. I mean, maybe because they're the favorite colors I, I like on the trees, but you know, I didn't put really any yellows in at all. And I just, I just gravitated toward those colors for some reason. And, and as I said, when I, when I looked at it afterwards, I was surprised as probably anyone else was looking at it, you know? Love it. It's wonderful. And for everyone listening, please, please see Barbara's piece in Inside Small, The Color of Nature, but also, I strongly recommend that you go on this really beautiful walk through the arts with Barbara. You will be you will be glad. I'm glad when I look at what you're working on and what you've done in the past. Um, it just makes the day better. Thank you so much, Lisa. I really appreciate that. Thank you for what you do. Thank you. You know, a good day for me is when I is when I feel that my soul has really expressed itself. Um, it's not a matter of whether technically the art is good when my soul has expressed itself either abstractly or through, you know, more literal art. I'm a happy, I'm a happy camper. <laughs> well, thank Barbara, thank you so much and, and keep doing what you do. Thank you, Lisa. I look forward to, is it October 6th? Yes. And we're all getting together online. Yes show okay and thank you again for all you do thank you